Hey guys, this is me, Steve, coming to you once again from Globe Talk 100K. I'm here today with another video on Windows Live Movie Maker, and this one has to do with uh, adding background music and a narration to your movies. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already pulled out. Uh, some photos from Windows Live, Mo or excuse me, from my hard drive onto Windows Live Movie Maker, and downloaded Windows Live Movie Maker, and I assume that you know how to do that. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go all the way up here to record narration. And you will see a control panel, if you will, that is made up of record, stop, and cancel. So let's record our narration first. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, Let's all have a good time. I hope you learn a lot from this video. Thanks. Bye. Now we will stop the recording. It automatically opens up the uh, place where you can save it. I've chosen to save it in my music selections, in my music files. So we'll change the title something very simple and it's saved and it also adds the uh, recording to your movie so let's watch this Okay, that's great. You get the idea. Uh, it works very good. And now let's move on to the next thing, adding music. Same basic idea, except that we go up here to add music, and we click on the lower third here, where it says add music. We go down to add music from PC, but what we want is underneath that to add music, and we click it. Now we're going to pick some non-copyrighted material to use in this video. And as you can see, it adds the music to it. Now, the one thing we're going to do, well, let me test it for you first, so, so you can listen to it. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Now that was a background. That was background music for the recording that I made. Um, you don't. Uh, well, let me back up. There is a way that you can change the volume of the music. So what you want to do, if you want to do that, is go up to Music Tools. Go over to the left here, where it says Music Volume and the recording is as follows and I'll just reduce the recording level down to there and we'll do it testing 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 one two three testing 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 now I don't know if you can hear that I reduced the level of it a lot so I don't know if you can hear it on your end but believe me it works Let's try something else. Let's increase the volume. Let's go all the way up. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. And you can see it's a lot louder. It actually, it sounds really good on my end. I don't know how it's coming out on your end. I would, I would encourage you to try this. 
This is a lot better, I think, than using the third-party recorder system that Windows gives you. Here, I'll show it to you. Although this is a nice recorder too, but I just like the idea of being able to record my narration within Windows Live Movie Maker by itself instead of having to make a separate recording and then add it to the uh, movie. At any rate, that's just some thoughts I had on that. I hope you enjoyed this, in this uh, tutorial. Please rate, subscribe, and uh, post a comment if you wish, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.